Now, teaching us how to make a simple roast chicken may be the most highly regarded chef in America and easily one of the best chefs in the world, the justifiably revered Thomas Keller of the French Laundry and New York's Per Se. Keller studied every aspect of the world of cooking and for him, preparing the deceptively simple roast chicken holds a wealth of techniques that can be applied to a wide variety of culinary situations. I'm gonna prepare one of my favorite dishes, which is a simple roasted chicken. And one of the important things that we, we tend to uh, neglect is bringing our protein up to, up to temperature. And what I mean by that is tempering it uh, so that the product is at room temperature before you, you start to roast. If it's cold, uh, when it goes in the oven, obviously the temperature is going to drop in the oven. So it doesn't cook evenly, it takes longer to cook. So one of the first things that we're going to do is we'd like to remove the wishbone, which allows us to take the entire breast off of the carcass. And we're just going to scrape a little bit of the flesh so we start to feel that wishbone. And then I'm going to take my knife and on the outside of the wishbone, just cut it down toward the joint where it meets the wing bite, okay? Very simple. And then run my fingers up that wishbone where it meets the, the breast and just pull it out, okay? We're going to take our wings and we're going to slide them underneath the body of the bird. That'll help support it when it's in our roasting pan or in this case, in our saute pan. We're gonna season the inside with salt and pepper. We can do other things with the bird as well. You can put, you can put herbs in there, thyme, rosemary, bay leaf. Next, we're gonna truss our chicken or tie it with butcher's twine. And we do that so that we can create the same density in the bird. See that we, we compact it all together and helps it cook more evenly. Just take a piece of a butcher's twine, slide it underneath the tail, and then we're gonna do a figure eight, if you will. It's very simple. Take on top of the leg and then underneath the legs. And you can see that eight right there. And then we're going to bring our legs into the breast, take our string underneath the neck, which is right there, and we're just gonna do a simple slip knot. And we have our trussed chicken uh, ready to go in the oven. And then we're gonna liberally, liberally salt it. I like a lot of salt, it creates a nice, a nice crust. And we like to season from up above so that as the salt falls through the air, it separates. Then you get a nice dusting. Some pepper if you like. Now this also works well if you want to use a roasting pan and add vegetables to it. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of thyme leaf, chopped thyme, on top. And there it's ready to go in the oven. I like to have it at a high temperature, uh, four and a quarter, 450. And of course, timing is different for each bird. This is about a three and a half pound bird. It may take up to 45 minutes, 50 minutes. A smaller bird may take less. I'm not putting any fat on this. I'm just gonna roast it as it is. There'll be some natural uh, fats that come off of the bird. I don't baste it in the oven. It's, again, it's a very, very simple roasted chicken. For me, this technique evolved from really cooking a family meal at the restaurant and having to cook six or eight chickens at a time in an organized way. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in our, in our oven. So here we have our, our beautifully roasted chicken. You can see the, the nice uniform, the color of it. So now, as I said, the carving the bird is relatively easy. Just remove the, the twine, and you'll be able to cut right down. I've taken that wishbone out of there, so there's nothing to stop me from taking that entire half a chicken right off of the carcass there. How simple can that be? There you have it.